Okay, okay, okay. We got a big special guest today on the spotlight. You already know what it is. I got my man's Yizzle man in this bitch. Yup, Yizzle man the goat. You already know where to find me. Stupid head on me on Instagram. Shot block with my free keys. Free me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I mean, let's get let's get right to it, man. So, who is Yizzle man? Like, like explain. You know what I'm saying? Tell us, uh, tell us about him. Shit, Yuzo Man, shit, Yuzo Man a personality disorder, for real, like, <laughs> no lie, you feel me? Why you say that? Shit, Yuzo came from just being on the block, and you feel me, just doing shit that the city down there made for me, for real, I ain't gonna lie, you know our culture, mm -hmm. you know how we get down, shit, make that money any way you can, and shit, the man part of the Yuzo came from, you feel me? Me trying to do some other shit, just that regular old man, regular Joe, regular person, you feel me? Mm -hmm. But I was born, the shit I was born into was just like, you know, that shit sometimes be a whole lot. So, you know, I be having to balance it from being this type of nigga and this type of nigga all the damn time. Because I already know how this ain't gonna go. Right, right, right. I'm hip, I'm hip. So, where, where are you from? Like, you said the city, right? Like, yeah, so, um, Yes, sir. Big seven, big seven. Can't tell you no real blocks. You feel me? Just over right. there. <laughs> he said, yeah, seven tail, seven tail. We know the area. That's yeah. what's up. That's what's up. So, what made you want to rap? Like, what made you want to pursue music? Shit, to be honest, my mama was rapping when I was a kid. Oh, damn, for real? Hell yeah. Damn, like, like she, like, what was like her rap name? Like, was she, you know? She T Tank or something like that. Tank. Yeah. And she, she used to have her little cassettes. Her little tapes and shit. She used to have her little microphone. She went to buy a whole little, you know, little recording thing and tape. Oh damn, that's fire. That's fire as hell. She used to have a little beat playing and she used to just rap over it. You feel me? Why the people person was rapping? Damn, that's shit, fire. You feel me? So, so like, we went on Jerry Springer one time and did that shit. Damn, straight up. Yeah. So like the apple didn't far, far from the tree. Then yeah. like, you know, you was already, it was in your jeans basically. Yeah, shit, my brother rapping, everybody rapping. Everybody, my family, for sure. Shout out to Kong, shout out to Filthy, shout out to Drake. Yes, 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 sir. So, like, how do you feel about the culture today? Like, what do you, you know, how, how do you feel about the culture and then, like, Detroit culture? Okay. The culture is different, in my opinion, from mm -hmm. the Detroit culture. But the Detroit culture got a lot to do with how the culture moving on forward. Nah, you know. Everybody always talking about how they did something, do that. Everybody in the rap game, like 6 9 incident. That man was never supposed to have came in that industry. Man, 6 9 I, <laughs> I ain't the biggest fan of 6 9 and 6 9 you never, know what I'm saying? I don't really like what he stand for, but I mean, I guess he, he did what the fuck yeah, he had to do. You got a good heart, you feel me? I be saying him, you feel me, showing love and shit. But shit, in reality, shit, I only see a few motherfuckers that are really keeping hip hop really like alive for real. And all the motherfuckers is just in it for the wrong reasons. Why you say that though? Shit, motherfuckers, you supposed to be trying to get out the hood, not bring the hood into hip hop. You know, that's one of the stepping stones to make your family better. And I feel like a lot of rappers now these days is risking too much. I feel like it's a part of the, um, it's a part of the whole system. Like, I might have said something the other day, like, um, if your song, people feel, people feel like if your song don't make them feel like they flip work, fuck hoes, rock ice, then the song is whack as hell. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, it'd be like, it's so much more life than that shit for real, for real, mm -hmm. dog. But, uh, I mean, I, I, it's, it's prevalent though, you know what I'm saying? Like, I it's a part of our culture, right. you get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's just how, how it is. I, I, I really hate that sometimes it could be a one-way thing, because it's so much more life. And I feel like Detroit culture just... Get better and better. You yeah. Know, it's getting better and better. And it's just like, I'm proud of everybody for, you feel me, the way everybody been moving and trying to get out the city and everybody trying to, you know, get everything better and like, you know. No, most definitely we got a whole industry right now. It's, yeah. it's looking real solid it's right now. getting bigger and bigger. And it's like, Detroit getting a lot of attention. Like, it's, been, it's getting. So Most again, definitely, wow, maybe, maybe uh, like uh, we had one of the nice runs since like Chicago with yeah, that Chief yeah. Keith. Like, we got the most rappers than any other city in the country. That's become probably not against Atlanta, but no, uh, Atlanta got a lot of them. Atlanta got Detroit. everybody, but Detroit for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. I ain't gonna no, say way too many because there's no room for everybody. Either. Okay. So, who the like top three artists you see yourself working with? 
that you would want to work with. And it could be, okay. it don't got to be just Detroit. It could yeah. be like just in general. Like who yeah. would you, who'd you ever want to do a song with? See, I would want to do a song with Kodak. Kodak, yeah. yeah. Big Kodak, yeah. yeah. I feel like I want to do a song with motherfucking... I really want to make a song with, with, with the Migos, for real. Like, hype song. Oh, Migos <laughs> fire, yeah. Migos fire. And I'll do a song with Future. For sure, for sure. Oh yeah, no, yeah. they classes. That that's yeah, a good set. Yeah. No, big future for sure, for sure. You no. damn near going all the way up, all the way with future, yeah, no rap yeah, caps. Yeah. And Kodak actually, I feel like he I wanted to. Yeah, yeah, if it's his time, it's his yeah. time. Like who wouldn't right now? That's that's a, you know, he, it's his little moment right now. He coming up. He big. He be coming big go. So who is your top five in the city? Top five in the city. I have to say, be easy. For sure, for sure. And I get past Peasy, that nigga didn't put his foot on shit this whole time. Yeah, yeah no, Peasy, Peasy looking like a ghetto superstar <laughs> right now. I ain't gonna lie, I'm happy for my oh, man. Yeah, there you yeah. go. I see him, it's just like they getting bigger and bigger. Yeah. And it's like, I don't know, I don't, I don't know what it is yeah. about the East Side, but I feel like the East Side, they got like such a great. Yeah. Like, I don't know, they, they, they believe in lifting each other up type right. shit. And it seemed like every time you look over there, they just getting bigger and bigger yeah, type shit and more people though. getting yeah. more exposure. That's what they trying to show everybody. Niggas ain't paying attention. They Man. just being jealous and shit. Duh. They trying to show you, nigga, you get your team together. Everybody work together. Everybody know they part, they position. You good. But I got to put the peasy. Mm -hmm. I got to say, shit, I fucks with Nook. Yeah. Shit. Gooey Ray, he not in the city for real, but he cold as fuck. Oh, I yeah, he here. He not in Midwest, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because he Flint, right? Yeah. Yeah, no, nah, yeah, no, nah, yeah. I don't know why cold. Shit, I got to give it up to my brother. He cold, too. You yeah, feel me? Shout yeah. to me, baby. He cold. Yeah. Then I got the last one. There's so many people, for real. You can't even really just break it down to them few. But I have to say, Rocky. Rocky Bad. Oh yeah, Rocky Bad. She cold. God, she cold. She been holding her. Yeah, she been holding it down yeah, for the she longest. She going crazy. She don't miss. She motherfucking shout shoutouts to Risk Taker because he be going crazy. Yeah, hell she yeah. Motherfucking Doug, Babyface, all of them niggas. I can't yeah. even. I just had to put Peasy up there just because yeah, no, I know I kind of agree. I agree with you though. We yeah, see what I, you have to elaborate yeah, on Peasy. Peasy like, really, you know, all them niggas, man. All them one, you feel me? Man, all right. So, who's your top five dead or alive? Dead or alive? Mm -hmm. Ever just best to whoever is blessed in life. Yeah, bingo. Yeah, <laughs> bingo. <laughs> like who else? <laughs> see, who else I fucked with? Uh, Kanye. Yeah, yeah, facts, big facts, big facts. <laughs> That's they Mount Rushmore. I, I, I can't deny him. You feel facts. Drake. Yeah. I gotta go off of numbers. Like, yeah, what? Well, that's it. Yeah. Kendrick J. Cole. Kendrick J. Cole. Greatest of all the time. Yeah, who you like over? Do uh, you like Kendrick or J. Cole better? See, I feel like I can relate with Kendrick more. Really? Mm hmm. I feel like, yeah, his topic range, uh, his voice kind of, to me, like, you gotta, I don't know, you gotta. Yeah, sometimes you gotta pay hard attention. Man, but for real. I started off listening to Kendrick, so you feel me? Oh, he go to, he go to, he go to, he go to. He really top five, he really, like, you know, tops, you know, he's, he's up there, like, he didn't really hit some shit. So, what you working on currently, you know, or what you got, you about to put out, or, you know, what what's out right now, like, let's see, on the music camp, you. Right now, I got free clouds out. Free Clouds 2 out. Yeah. And then I'm working on this project called Glass Plates and Razor Blades. Yeah, Glass Plates and Razor Blades. Yeah. What, like, what, what, why you chose that name? That's a whole project, EP? Yeah. Why you choose that name? Because my first one was Black Shinobi mm. type shit. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that correlates with. It's like Naruto vibes? Yeah, Naruto vibes, but at the same time, it was like. This world is really so much related to that, you feel me? Niggas, we go outside every day, you feel me? And we don't know what the fuck gonna happen, for real. Yeah. You feel me? Sometimes niggas ride out, sometimes niggas be about that and shit. Yo ass going against a whole nother village, nigga. Yo ass have war. Man, dog, shit, you know. Niggas is killing your niggas, you killing them niggas for revenge. That shit is sick, a cycle of hatred. You feel Man. me? Man. And it is like that, bro. No rap chat. Yeah. They just don't be really getting to see that for real, you know. Shit, it's so much. It's so much. It's so relatable. Mm -hmm. What well, so? What do you want out of music? Like, what do you see yourself? You know, where, where are you trying to go in music, basically? Shit, I'm trying to put my name in history. 
Right. Tommy, one of the people that you can be like a household name. Yeah. 20, 15, 30, 40 years, 100, 500 years after I die, I want people to be like, yeah, you remember Yizzle? Yeah, I remember Yizzle, man. I was playing one of them old tracks the other day. My mm -hmm. grandma was like, really listening to you feel me? That's the type of shit I want. Any like, uh, like awards or like, uh, or you just make basically just for your name and just in general? You know, like Grammys, accolades, whatever, you know, like is there cer certain many albums that you want to put out? Mm, shit, I make music until the end of my days. Man, it's said forever. Yeah, Niggas 99, yeah. still rapping. Look, this old ass man, I'm rapping like a motherfucker, hold up. <laughs> 10 years, the nigga, like he 40 ass. I nigga, oh, this hell, stand nigga, oh, this hell. Yeah, yeah, no, you about right, you about right. You can't let that Jay Z is about, like, you know, mm -hmm. vampire, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Not really, you know, it's just sad. <laughs> Uh, all right, so tell me about, you know, uh, the wildest moment you had with a girl or just the wildest moment in life in general. You think about the girl, right? Yeah. <laughs> all right, so the one time I was hanging out with a girl, she was all perked up, high as hell, drunk as fuck. And I ain't even gonna lie, that shit was looking, that shit was just unattractive. It was like the bitch nodding she, off. She was perked out. Man, she was perked out. How she, she looked cute. though? She okay, was she was cute though, but she, she was she perked was fine, out. Yeah. Uh. But she wasn't dead, like she wasn't falling asleep, but she was just like in a negative, just like, you feel me? And I left that bitch out to call me. Oh, shit. <laughs> so you picked her up? Chill with her. Oh, uh, she pulled up on me. Okay, she yeah, so was, she had her, but y'all just linked up. Right, right, she right. Pulling, she pulling up, she drinking, and we, we both drinking and shit. But yeah, she no, she does. She, she does. I'm sorry. Yeah, you she, drink, she, did, she drank and drinking. She did have three perks. And her, we didn't put her to the coney and shit. And I just don't like how that bitch talked to me. So yeah, no, that was done. Walked the window, walked through the other one, left her ass up there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> done. <laughs> Peace. <laughs> Left my buck, walked the window, walked out the other, walked through the field, and went back home. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga silly as hell. All right, man. So, what is life to you? Life to me is making sure the younger motherfucking generation better than the last. Mm -hmm. so, I don't want motherfuckers to be still doing the same shit I'm doing. They my grandson. Man. I want my son. I'm driving a motherfucking Cadillac today. I want my son to be driving a Porsche. Mm -hmm. I want his son to be driving a motherfucking fucking Bentley or you feel me? Something, something crazy. I most well, definitely gotta break the generational curse. After that, you feel me? My great grandson will drive my Aston Martin. You home. say he's that shit rich forever. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. Um, my next son, I don't know what he's gonna be doing, but hopefully between them generations, somebody's gonna figure out how to make some more money. Yeah, yeah, no, for sure, for sure, for yeah, sure, for sure. That's why I want for my damn next generations and the next thing coming for my people to be good. Everybody, you feel me? Mm -hmm. What's the point of life if everybody ain't straight? Right. You feel me? Yeah, so all right, I can dig it. That's my guy, Yizzle, man. He just came through for us one time, for the one time. Tell us where to find you at type shit, man. Stupid head dummy. Mm -hmm. Stupid head dummy. On motherfucking Instagram. Yeah. Yeah. No Twitter. You ain't got Facebook? No, Facebook as being Yizzle Man. Yeah, you gotta have that. You need all that promo. Mm-hmm. Yep, so, alright, now, it's the reason why I cut this at the end. Because I don't know if you uh, if you had any bars you want to spit or some shit like that. A 16, a 12, get the verse you know. Okay. Um, but it's up to you, whatever, and, you know. Let me see, let me see what I got. Let me see, let me see. You know, get your Tim Westwood on one time, you know what I'm saying? Kind of like a Rap City vibe, you know? We asked at the end. Alright. Filthy. 
I need two black bitches, those my nutty buddies, Brody out of town, but he still getting promoter money. I just fuck the op, bitch, you can tell him for me. Brody got caught with a stick, he should've did the derby. I be with real trap niggas with that cake in. Bad bitch, Lil BBL, that's my fake friend. I ain't telling no shit because the pay being 17 for a one perk, but only pay 10. Shoes on my feet, I done paid the lid. Tell the bitch she'll get out and she ain't getting hit. But it's talk to me, say. <laughs> say, he on that. He on that. <laughs> That's my guy, man. Yeah, I live on that road. Yes, sir. My nigga, he's got, he's got the dance moves. They ain't know, though. <laughs> All right, we out. My guy.